Lissy Priya. They told you that she is a nine-year-old climate activist, India's Greta Thunberg. They told you that she has worked extensively for the environment, planted thousands of trees all her life. They told you that she has won many international awards for her work. And then they told you that Lissy Priya is unhappy with Modi government's policies. They told you that Lissy Priya is the ultimate authority on matters of climate change and that the Modi government did not listen to her, that it was scared of a little girl. But is all of this true? Is Lissy Priya really a qualified climate activist? Well, as it turns out, she is not a climate activist but a con artist. And it was her father who is now arrested who led this master plan and the anti-government forces that helped him. They created a larger than life image of a little girl to peddle their anti-government agenda. And now all of their lies are out in the open. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national and socio-political analysis arm of the TFI media group. I am your host Abhinav and in this video I will tell you how a little girl was turned into a porn artist by her own father for his selfish gains. Nine year old Lissi Priya Kangujam's fugitive father Kanaji Kangujam also known as Dr. KK Singh was recently arrested in a joint operation by the Delhi and Manipur police. The kid's father had a bounty of rupees 1 lakh on his head and the Manipur police was actively looking for him across the country. In the name of the International Youth Committee or the IYC, Singh defrauded several national and international students by seeking funds from them. Reportedly by projecting his nine-year-old daughter as the face of a national and international climate activism campaign, Kanaji Kangujam duped nearly 100 students from 12 countries under the garb of activism as per a wise report. The fraud amount is estimated to be approximately $44,685 just from fees collected from the students. Kanarjeet, a self-proclaimed youth leader from Manipur, had previously been arrested in 2015 and was charged under Section 420, 324 and 406. An investigation of this case in May 2015 showed that Kangujam had conned the state and foreign dignitaries by using the UNESCO flag on his car. Chauba, a Manipuri investigative journalist who has extensively covered Kanarjeet's dubious history from close proximity was quoted as saying, This guy is brilliant. He is like the Charles Sobraj of Manipur minus the looks and murders. However, Karajit's biggest scam was using his own organization, International Youth Committee, to bestow fake awards and recognition upon his daughter so that she could receive positive press and gain followers, which in turn would help him dupe the fund donors. In April 2019, the IYC, chaired by Lissi Priya's father, had claimed in a press release that she had been invited to address a session on disaster risk reduction at the UN. However, an investigation found out that she was not invited to speak at the event but to only attend it. In July 2019, she was conferred the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Award by Van Munna Kumar, founder of Twelve Foundation. Interestingly, this award turned out to be fake as well. Munna Kumar, the founder who presented the award, was the convener at the highly shady IYC. Another instance of deceit and fraud from Karnajit came to light in September 2019 when the news of Lissi Priya being conferred with World Children Peace Prize 2019 by the Global Peace Index started making the rounds. However, when an alert netizen asked the Global Peace Index about the reality of the award, the organization clarified on Twitter saying they did not confer her with any award nor there was any award program in place. Global Peace Index tweeted, Our director of partnerships, Charles Allen, was asked to present the award which was conferred by the event organizers. We do not issue awards and do not have any award program in place. In the same month, Lissi Priya was also conferred with the India Peace Prize 2019. However, it turns out it was her father's organization, IYC, that presented the award again. 
The enamored left liberal media failed to check the background and the reality of the award and once again Lisipria and her father milked the situation to involve more innocent activists in their Ponzi scheme. The last few years have seen the rise of teenage and prepubescent teenagers claiming to fight for the protection of the global climate. However, this rent a cause activism has become a popular tool for certain vested interest groups and highly motivated immoral individuals like Kanaji to peddle their agenda. Since the face of such campaigns is usually teenage kids, the mainstream media tends to go easy on them. However, as was seen with Swedish teenage climate activists Greta Thunberg and the Toolkit Saga, these innocuous kids are used as a front for the sinister players to conduct their business. The brand Lisipria Kangujam is the biggest scam that Kanajit managed to pull off in his scam infested life and thanks to the liberal brigade of the country, he managed to go under the radar for several years. By carefully making her the poster child of the cable which foolishly proclaimed her as India's Greta Thunberg, Kanajit lived a life of pure aristocracy, often rubbing shoulders with big and eminent personalities. Kanajit Kangujam's arrest should hopefully help the little kid get back her innocent life which was turned upside down by a crooked, greedy, self-indulgent and insincere father.